Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Tuesday, February 9. Isn't that a beautiful mahogany plank? 8 quarters, 17 inches wide, about 14 feet long. I, we started with one almost identical to it to uh, saw out the last four planks needed for the 1953 Shepard Model 110S Sportsman. And today we will give you an update on how we went from here to the bottom. So we're working on the board we were looking for, the keel plank. Uh, if you'll remember from the previous clip, this plank uh, was the, the forward section of it which is joined right where John is was pretty beaten up particularly right at the bow and we also faced the problem that when we installed the first five courses of planks the space we had up here was wider than the original plank so I'll hand it off to John and he can bring you up to date on the uh, 5200 bottom we are installing on the Shepherd. Well, we took that wide plank and we resawed it into some thinner strips and then we cut out the bottom planks that we were looking for, the keel planks. And of course, installing them when they're brand new, uh, they haven't been bent into place yet, so there's quite a bit of spring in this first piece. So we started out with this first piece up right about here and I had to put screws in the front of it and then we bowed it into place and we had to sand it in at the same time along the keel but we chose to leave a little extra space for the 5200 to come out everywhere and that way we would know we had a really good seal on our 5200 bottle um, and then we fitted the back plank for the same this back plank's the one that had the short board right John? yes this was a this originally was a two-piece. Was it not, Reggie? No, it's only two boards. Right, this whole, this whole plank was a two-piece plank, but it was a little bit narrow because we straightened the frame on the bolt. And uh, we had to make it wider. So, so are you installing it now, John? or uh, What's actually, going on? We, actually, we just pre-fitted it, drilled all the holes, for the frames and for the keel. We're taking it back out. We're gonna pre-drill the number six screws for along the edge, but we don't pre-drill we don't pre -drill them in place because we screw the screws into the plywood without a pre-drill hole. Um, so we'll take them back off. We'll pre-drill the small holes. We'll pre-drill the holes for the butt joint where we put a scab piece of plywood underneath for uh, extra support where they come together and then we will seal them that's uh i'm sorry to interrupt that's three quarter inch plywood right we're not just right. playing games right and that's three quarter inch plywood that we put right underneath them we put 5200 over the whole thing stick it up and screw down and through you don't want to land these seams on frames because if you do uh you know that the frames will work a tiny bit from time to time and that just breaks the butt joints open. Butt joints should always land between two frames and be blocked in the back and then, then you have a single unit that can move together. And you're trying to put a bunch of screws into a piece that's an inch wide as the rear. Your piece isn't going to be blown apart that you're screwing into if it's a big chunk of plywood. So we'll take this back off, we'll seal it, put two coats of sealer on it, then we'll put 5200 on it, put them back, put them back down for the final, final time. Final time. And then uh, we can see this in stages now. This is the new plank, it hasn't been treated yet. I'll be treating it shortly as soon as John and RJ hand it to me. These two courses went on yesterday. You can still see the countersinks and the silicon bronze uh, Frearson head uh, fasteners. And this one is uh, 
these three have already been fully installed. They've had two coats of 3M Premium Marine filler and are ready to, once we have everything in place. We'll be sanding the whole unit and filling all the countersinks. And then it's time to apply five coats of Interlux Interprotect Barrier Coat Primer. Thank you from Snake Mountain Boatworks. Bye bye for now.